I had an apartment unit, I was leasing you for a thousand a month in Charlotte and I raised the rent 10%, you might say, ah, I'm going to leave rather than spend another $1,200 this year. But if I raise your $100 storage unit by 10%, you might say, ah, eh, that irritates me. But for an extra 10 bucks a month, I'm just not going to move my stuff down the street. And that person ends up staying there 17 years through maybe 34 rate increases to a year. that can be done all kinds of value adds and if, if you let me i'll take you through just one example of how powerful this can be please awesome. please yeah. yeah let's just do something simple let's do something you can do the day after you buy a facility let's say you bought a facility in kansas and you looked around and you said oh, there's no there's not much u-haul in this area so you contact u-haul you get a contract with them you park some trucks out front you don't spend any capital money up front at all uh, except maybe to buy a computer terminal just to do the u-haul on and let's say you can add between one and five thousand a month in commission from u-haul let's use three thousand a month okay so three thousand a month thirty six thousand dollars a year now here's the formula in residential real estate we know that it's residential real estate's based on comps. But in commercial real estate, of course, the value is based on a formula. And that formula is the value equals the net operating income divided by the rate of return or the cap rate. And so with a constant cap rate, if we can increase the numerator, let's say $36,000 a year, that's the U-Haul, divide that by a cap rate of let's just say you know they're running four or five percent right now for self stores let's say six percent which is more conservative in other words higher number higher cap rate lower value okay three thirty six thousand dollars divided by six percent you just added six hundred thousand to the value of your facility wow so if you bought the facility for a million dollars that's half let's say half a million in equity half a million in debt you just added over a hundred percent to the value of that equity that half a million just became worth 1.1 million just mm -hmm. by adding u-haul and there's a whole lot of other things you can do including add a billboard add a cell tower a propane filling station an atm charge insurance and late fees add the point of sale items uh you can raise rent by 10 percent and add you know, perhaps 25% to the value of your equity just from raising rent by 10%. Mm -hmm. And people don't leave. Think about it. If I had an apartment unit, I was leasing you for a thousand a month in Charlotte, uh, and I raised the rent 10%, you might say, ah, I'm going to leave rather than spend another $1,200 this year. But if I raise your $100 storage unit by 10%, you might say, ah, eh, that irritates me. But for an extra 10 bucks a month, I'm just not going to move my stuff down the street. And that person ends up staying there 17 years through, uh, you know, maybe 34 rate increases to a year. That's and right. think about this too. It catches inflation. If I'm renting out a large warehouse to Amazon or a factory, or, you know, it might be 10 or 20 years I'm locked in on the lease. With mm -hmm. self-storage, I can raise the rates every month and capture a lot of that inflation we're seeing right now. Yeah, where, where I am, this unit that I was telling you about that I'm renting, started out at $45 a year and a half ago. Every three months, they send me an increase. Every three months. And every three months, I get mad and say, dang it, I'm going to pack up, move out of here. I'm yeah. still there. <laughs> and and I'm sitting at $75 a month. Wow. For the same thing that I rented for $45 a month a year and a half ago. Okay. Now multiply that by a thousand units. Ouch. And basically they just added 30,000 a month. That's 360,000 a year to their income. Cause there's really no cost increase, you know? Right. And uh, what did I say? $360,000 a year, divide that by a 6% cap rate. You've got a $6 million value increase yeah. just from raising rents and adding yeah. no capital expense. That's just crazy. So again, forced appreciation. And then, yeah. now this doesn't add as much uh, value, but you can also add in management efficiencies by doing a lot of automated stuff with the, the gates, the keypads, the automated locks, uh, people to be able to pay their payments online and be able to rent online, all that kind of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. That's absolutely true. Increase efficiencies as well. Yeah. yeah I mean, and we, we talked about the mom and pops. I mean, you touched on, but most of them are under market rents and a lot of them are 
substantially under market rents. And we right. were looking at one. It was a I know what you're gonna say. It was a ten by ten unit and they were renting it for five dollars a month. What? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so I'm just like, you you see that in these mom and pop stuff. Like, you know, maybe it's like, you know, Bill who lives down the street from me, I'm gonna get him a deal or whatever the case may be. I don't know in a small town, but like, yeah, we saw a ten by ten for five dollars a month. Nice. It's amazing. And we didn't I know for sure it could have had a dirt floor we don't know but <laughs> they yeah. just failed to raise it <laughs> we uh we invested in a facility that had 80 percent occupancy which isn't horrible in grand junction colorado but it had 80 percent delinquency and the owner could not get on top of this well i mean that's <clears throat> a real easy to fix the day you take over i mean look you tell people pay or we're putting a lock on it and you're out yeah and we have a leverage we have leverage for them to pay not only is there no eviction moratorium on self-storage like there was right. on multifamily and single family, but in addition to that, we've got their stuff. Yeah, and so that's right. another facility we invested in in Beeville, Texas, paid 2.4 million cash for, and within three months, just increasing the marketing, increasing rates to market levels, which are 25% higher, increasing occupancy, increasing management efficiencies, the value of this was appraised not at 2.4 which we paid for it it was at 4.6 oh, and wow. so at That's that awesome. time put financing on it of 2 million instead of that being like an 80 percent ltv it was 43 percent of the new value and wow. then sold it for 4.6 million a year later giving the investors you know that only had what half a million cash left in it a you know about a five to one return mm -hmm.